This is Austin St. John, and you are watching that hashtag show. You better pay attention. This is Austin St. John. Welcome back to the Ranger Wrap Up. It's Saturday. Oh man, it is Saturday, it is Saturday. and it is the uh, Fourth of July weekend. Yes. So we most likely are definitely tired right now. Yes. Um, and you guys probably are feeling the same, but still, nonetheless, I'm, fe- I'm still feeling a little motion sickness from see, yesterday. See that makes we sense. We were we were actually playing, <laughs> we were actually playing video games yesterday, and uh, <laughs> things started shaking, things started moving. I was like. Is this the game? What's going on here? Oh my god! It, it, went, it went for a while. Like, it did. It went for probably a cool minute. Yeah. Probably a cool minute for me. I think we had a busy day. Went to go see uh, um, Spider Man. You know how uh, I, you know how I knew that you went to go see Spider Man? Huh? Because he started shooting shooting out all these all these like. Theories and stuff. I was like, he probably won't do. He oh yeah, know. yeah. You he know, probably watched Spider-Man. He, he, he <laughs> needs, he needs some sort of like out. You know, I need, like I need someone around. to bounce it off of, man. Because I, you my, it off no, of? we're, but that's how we developed the theory. <laughs> yeah. my, my, I was sitting there with my daughter, and we talked about it, and we had a theory, and then so after uh, we spoke about it for really good time, and we carved it out, and we we found a timeline and all this stuff. Yeah. Then after that, I was like. Let me tell Jether and Joe. <laughs> Immediately. I know, I know I there's a power to show. What did, what did you think about it? What did you think about Spider-Man, it? Man, dude, the movie was a fun movie. Yeah. Um, the biggest part of it were the button scenes at the end. That really was it for me. Really? Those are the parts where I was like, oh my God. Homecoming was cool and new, and I think that was what made it big. Um, one thing that was great, hey, we got to see him actually swing through New York. Okay, that yeah, was cool. cool. Um, that was iconic. Um, I didn't realize that the drones um, that we saw there were the same drones on the va- on the game. Are they really? Look at the game and then look at that. I didn't know that until my daughter pointed it out. She was like, "You know what? Actually, yo, as, those oop, are it." <laughs> we have a super chat from Bryn Darby. Oh. Thank you, Mister uh, UK man over there. He says, "Yo, my dudes." In the hospital, so might lose oh, connection. Oh, jeez. Why are you in the hospital? Yeah, uh, tell us why. You yeah. don't have to super chat. Tell you don't us. Have to super. Just, Just let tell us, know. us as to why. Okay, Sorry, man. man. Yeah, let us know. I mean, you're part of the fan bam here, dude. Yeah. Let us know if you're okay, and everybody be ready to say, hey, we, we care, and change your Facebook thing to yep. like a picture of him or whatever. You know, I don't know. Yeah, we need to. We'll, we'll do an in memoriam of you if you want. You're like, no, I just stubbed my toe. We're like, oh my god, we miss <laughs> him. We miss him so much. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, yeah, the drones. Mm-hmm. As soon as I watched the movie, because I watched it July first, I think. It was oh like, yeah, it was yeah, like the first, yeah. The first day yeah, it came I out. I saw it on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just I was just walking through like the area where the mall is at, and it's like, oh, Spider Man's. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, because they came. Yeah, because they did that whole trip of oh, we're gonna put it out a day earlier, and then yeah, Wednesday yeah, and blah yeah. blah. Yeah. And then so as soon as I got done with the movie, I was like, man, I'm still feeling pretty hyped about this <laughs> about this movie. Then I went, loaded up the PlayStation game, and lo and behold, uh, you have all the suits yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the two suits. I was like, yo. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Night Monkey and the new one? I was like, yep, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just thinking, mean, I got to be To be honest, replay. my favorite part about it was Aunt May. Oh, my God. Those <laughs> jeans. Oh, Man. Wow. Okay, okay. Aunt wow. May. Dude. Hey, happy! I'm not mad about it. I'm not no, mad. I'm not, no, I'm. No. I, I'm, you know, I'm be mad. happy, bro. I no, think you're really happy. No, I'm mad that in the end, you know, <laughs> she said what she said. And, oh, yeah, you know. that sucks. That's the worst. I mean, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good thing for you to talk about. Quest. I'm like, thinking so. Like not being on the same page as far as like where the yeah, world. where the relationship yeah. is and oh. how you feel versus. I'm thinking, out, man. But was it? Oh. <laughs> this is not power. Just, was <laughs> it more so? Uh, she was being a little like. On the defensive, or that's truly how she felt. You think? I think that's truly how she felt. Oh damn! The that, whole time, that sucks. whole time she because when it happened, she was like, "What? Yeah, like, oh, damn, this is a shock that for me. sucks." That <laughs> so sucks. yeah, yeah. Let's see what Brent. Uh, not entirely sure yet. Got a lot of tests. Uh, all right, but some kind of collection and stuff. Ooh, that's mm. that's probably like the toughest thing about being sick and not knowing what it is. Oh, that is the worst. Or or like trying time. to figure it out, like. Oh. Uh. Like going on uh, WebMD and just like 
not opening them that Pandora's box. Oh no no no! WebMD is one of the worst things you guys could ever do. Don't go on to WebMD and try to go ahead and figure out what your symptoms are and diagnose yourself. Trust me, you'll go to WebMD, you'll find out that you're a zombie. You don't, don't yeah, do it. it's don't it's do not it. it's not a good time. It's not a good time. <laughs> but first off, thank you guys for joining us on your Saturday. Like I say, every day, every weekend. You could be anywhere else in the world today, but you're here with us. And we appreciate well, it. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. We have we have a few things to talk about. We have a few things to talk about. Um, San Diego Comic Con's coming up. Uh, pretty excited Ooh. about that. You're, you're going, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. so far I should be going. I don't know yet. I'm kind of trying to find out still if work is kind of ruining it or messing it up. I don't know. What is uh, what is their main issues with it? Uh, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> oh yeah and if that's the case I'm like man I'm not gonna rush all the way down to San Diego for just a Saturday Sunday and I come nope <laughs> no. yeah there's a so right before maybe I think uh, May I started my new job or a promotion mm -hmm. and I had the leave put in for uh, Comic Con from my previous uh, yeah. my, my previous job and you know they're fine with it and then my my new my new boss like where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you taking this off? He's like, first off, I have so much user lose that you shouldn't even be questioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I do not take any time off. Like, yeah, barely right? take any time off. I'm so. here all the yeah. time. Days <laughs> when I shouldn't be here. Yeah, so it's fine. Now, now they're, I'll bring them back something fun from over there. But I'm excited. Yeah. But one of the main things I'm pretty excited about is um, the uh, Hasbro uh, double pack <sighs> with J the Jason figures. Oh, my God. I am happy, and now we finally get to see what it looks like uh, with the regular, like the actual head, you yes, know, without yes. the helmet on. Um, now, I'm looking at this, and still, I'm happy with the sculpt. I'm glad that we are going to actually finally have it, mm -hmm. but Here I go. know you noticed something, yes, and there, I didn't think about it until you said it. There, first off, there's a few things. It's mainly with the, heads, the head parts. Uh, with the Ranger helmets, the Gold Ranger's um, visor... It's is too 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 wide. Yeah. Or too tall. Yeah. It's too tall. It's yeah. Kind, kind of same with the center of the Red Ranger's visor. It's kind of too tall. Well, that mouth part is just like okay, it, it, it's open way too wide. Yeah. Way too wide. A lot of people were saying how they were they noticed that and they were like, oh, that's kind of off as far as like the shapes and how it's set up. I don't know if I'm gonna be okay with that. And I agree. Yeah. I agree. It, it is nitpicky though. Yes. It is. I'm not gonna lie, but after someone's brought it up to you. How do you not notice it exactly? Anymore? And after the first <laughs> after the first wave that we've had, uh, we we were kind of spoiled with like because the sculpts are like really yeah, I, I loved them. The They're sculpts really were amazing. really good. Um, and then next, like you pointed out to me, is oh. the civilian head sculpts. He looks like he looks very plump. He looks. I don't know if some whoever did the sculpts was kind of like I've always hated Jason. I'm gonna give him a fat head. <laughs> like it was just because that head just the especially the Black Ranger one. I mean the, uh, the, the Gold, Gold Ranger, Ranger yeah. one. Dear God, it looks like something has happened to him. He got in an accident and his head is swelling. Yeah, like and it hasn't stopped swelling. It's like he had an and allergic I'm, reaction to right? something. Come on, and he dude. Had no idea like, what it is. And I understand there was one time where uh, you know Austin St. John was a little bit larger as a person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's but, just um, life. That's just yeah, life. That was life. But, but he, he wasn't was a, like he was that a, when he, he was in his twenties. Dude, the dude came back to civilian life and was an EMT. Uh, you tell me how your schedule works as an EMT. Yeah. Last time I checked, every person I've ever known that's gone, like, came back from military, shows up, and is uh, an EMT, dude, <clears throat> your eating schedule is crap. Yeah. You have to eat late nights, and you're awake, then you have to go to sleep, and sometime during the day, but still on call in some weird way. Yeah. There's no way. But then, now that he's out of that, the dude has gone back to slimming down mm -hmm, and looks mm -hmm. regular. You guys should have really rethought the sculpt and really made his head a regular size nice. instead of being huge and weird and awkward. We I have, just, I'm not a fan of it. Yep. And we have a super chat from Bryn Darby who says, so many issues with this one. Helmets off and, and head doesn't quite look like Austin. It's like his stunt double or something. I that's, agree. That's, that's a good one. I agree. That's a good one. Yeah. I agree. Like, dude, looking at it, it... It's I'm still weird. gonna buy it though. To be, I'm still gonna buy it. Oh well, I mean, it's yeah. a given. It's, yeah. it's not like I'm gonna say no to this. Yeah. Well, because I'm probably <laughs> gonna pick it up on Wednesday. You want me to pick you up a set too? Yes, actually, please. Yes, because I. Do you see it, all the little toys that come with it? Like all yeah. the little. They, they have the guns. They have this and that. Oh man, I'm in. Wait, do you have a do you have a badge? Oh my god, I don't think I do. 
I think we're going to do the whole. I was supposed to okay. do the whole. Well, because because they have a uh, a portal uh, website. So like with com- big companies like Hasbro or Funko or Lego, oh, well, you, you have to that. like you, you have can, to reserve yeah. a spot in line or something or like an appointment to go to the store. Okay. So I just like and... as soon as that portal went up, I just. Only Hasbro. I just went Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro for all these different time uh-huh. time uh, slots. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get one of the time slots. Hopefully, okay, okay. Mom, um, hopefully I can get it because there's only other than this, there's only one more thing that I want to get on the floor, and then I don't really have anything to do on the floor anymore. Is the uh, <laughs> the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set? Yeah, which comes with Shredder oh, and Splinter and Two Foot Soldiers, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. It's, Dude, NECA's NECA's killing it. And what's great is, like, not a lot of people, like, only a small amount of people know about NECA, so the line's not too bad. Okay. But, yeah. Would you be happy if NECA said, hey, we're going to go ahead, and they got some licensing for Power Rangers? Or uh, just pa- licensing for Sentai? You know, actually, yeah. Yeah? Because their shit's, like, legit. Okay, like, so if they if they did, and they got to get a licensing for Sentai, what Sentai would you like them to get it for? Oh, I don't know. Probably the pre- uh, Mighty Morphin uh, Zoo Ranger uh, sets. Yeah. Yeah, like like Jet uh, Jetman and and Bio Man and. Ooh, you like to go classic, so it's yeah. Like, we'll yeah, start, you know, start off with classic. They they got enough time to kind of lean into it, but we'll see. Hmm. Uh, especially especially with um, what is it, Tamadashi or the SH Figure Arts still having a little bit of uh, yeah. an, uh, and then Hasbro. So we'll see, but <clears throat> which is. It's fun, which is, I can't wait for Comic-Con. And then we also have, you know, the sad news that uh, the Beast Morphers cast won't be making Dude, appearance. Dude, I don't, okay. So they're going to have a Hasbro um, Power Power, Power Rangers Power Hour. Yes. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to have, um, they're going to have some stuff from, uh, they're going to tell us what's coming up for Lightning Figures. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to showcase. Exciting. That's actually exciting. That's big. They're going to showcase some other stuff. Uh, I think they may even, they're going to have some artists from um, uh, Boom's uh, Power Rangers stuff okay. there too. I can't remember. Gonna, did Ryan uh, say I've that? I've forgotten the names. Did uh, Ryan say that he was going to be making an appearance? Ryan said he's going to be at Comic-Con. But he didn't uh, say he was going to be on Yeah, Comic-Con. I don't know if he's going to be on that. But most likely, I mean, they'll probably think about it and pull him in. Yeah. I mean, how could... You're going to have all the artists and not for one mo- moment think to yourself, why don't we just have the man that's pretty much handling yeah. everything for Boom? Like, they may ask him to just show up and yeah. that may be a surprise. That may be part of the thing. But how do you do all that? And then not have, and they're supposed to actually talk about some of, some stuff and show some footage for what's coming up, you know, this fall. Ooh, but yeah. they're not going to give us, from what I understand, they're not going to give us um, the name of the super season. Ooh, well, if, and if it is a super season. What if our, you know, Christmas comes early. Right. And we do get a trailer. Okay. For the big crossover. Yo, if we Yo. get a trailer for the crossover, which makes sense, Yo. and I would go insane for it. I would I mean, go insane for Hasbro's it. gonna like Bandai with the 25th anniversary. They waited till like right before the 25th anniversary to show a trailer. Yeah, right. Yeah. So what if what if Hasbro goes about it a different way? Okay. And starts promoting it a year early. Dude. If, right, but a year early—that's a lot because Hasbro knows if we do a year early, how much other stuff are we gonna have to like slightly trickle out to keep people entertained or interested until then? Just a thirty-second trailer, man. Just but then, thir- you know how Power Ranger fans are. You know how fans are. Fandoms, like I say, I say it all the time. Fandoms are uh, fragile, fickle? and yeah, and fans themselves mm-hmm. are fickle. And uh, with <laughs> that being the case, they're like, okay, great. Now you gave me something. Give me more. Well, I can't give you more. No, give me more. And they're like, shoot, okay, here goes this. Great, now give me more. Well, uh, come on, I just gave you something. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, look at us right now. We're saying we want a 30 second trailer, yes. just 30 second worth of footage. They gave us the info, well, after we broke it, <laughs> that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that we're going to get the Red Ranger. Yeah. You know, coming back. It was like, so now they confirmed it after we broke the news. Wait, it was confirmed? Bravo to by, us. By them? Well, oh, no, they haven't. No, not yet. No, not it yet, will be. You know, it you know, will the be. world knows. Yeah. Everyone's reporting yeah. it now, like, as if it's com- complete doctrine. Um, so, <laughs> doctrine. <laughs> yeah, you know, so with that being the case, yeah, I feel. But it is not confirmed. 
Hasbro has not reached out and not said yet. yes. Not yet. So remember that, guys. Eventually. We aren't saying it's confirmed. Eventually. We're just saying we have the news. We're and, literally yeah. in the same situation that I was last night waiting for that damn decision last night. And I am not happy with the decision. Clippers, I'm huh? pissed off. Clippers, huh? Yeah. Like, Traitor. Like Kobe said. <laughs> If you have to be convinced to join the Lakers, you ain't the person. You ain't the person. You, you ain't, ain't the person. person. You, ain't, you ain't the right That's one. That's very true. You ain't the right one. If you very don't understand true. the... I mean, dude, you know. look, your your name is pretty much a genre in anime, and yeah. that pretty much should have let us know. <laughs> right there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have let us know right yeah, there. Anime Expo, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hopefully, maybe a 30-second trailer, and you don't even have to have footage. All you have to have is the Super Sentai, that last scene with the explosion with the Rangers and the Rangers and suits. Oh. That's it. Honestly, I can make you that trailer right now. Put a little Hasbro thing on there. Boom. I'll do it for you. Give me like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. Yeah, boom. Good. Hey, take oh, for a hundred. I'm cheap, man. That's I'm cheap. It. That's it. Look, we just cut a trailer for you. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a trailer <laughs> out of old footage and I'm going to release it on that hashtag Instagram and just see how it goes. Oh, let's do it. I'll do it. Oh, that would oh, be it. Oh, imagine we could troll people. We troll all the Oh, that would be so Ooh. good. That would be so good. You know what? We should find someone to upload it to like other places and just see if it catches on. <laughs> well, we do have a secret weapon. Yeah. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> but we had a super chat. I'm sorry. Dude. Yeah, we did. You know? We had a super chat. It was from, sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. So sorry, guys. So sorry. We got, we got really into it. Yeah. You know, because I'm so excited for um, for Comic Con, dude. Dude, I am because there's a lot of things that are happening at Comic Con. It's still, it's just like, okay, I want to talk about it. I want to pop off. That Power Hour was very interesting to me. Yeah, so I mean, when you like, get wow. when you get down there, we're gonna do some live streams. Gonna have some. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we're gonna oh, we're gonna show people around. Um, <laughs> uh, so Brent Darby hit us with a super chat earlier, uh, and he said, "Worried about spoilers? I bet Cast knows too much." Yes, they do. <laughs> That's the true. cast knows That's too much, true. and we know too much. Yeah, and we can't we wait to, to share it with you guys. But we we need we're, to get Benjamin back here. Um, I mean, ben, uh, Benjamin. What's his name? Benjamin. Uh, no, I'm thinking. Oh my God, Abraham. Abraham. Oh, yep. I say Benjamin. He's back we need home. To get, uh, we need, yeah. I think he he's was, from Vegas. Though, yeah, so. he was just he was just in Vegas, but he lives in LA. Yeah. Um, he was just in Vegas, so we need to get him out here so that we can, of course, drill him. And mm. get some more info from him. Oh, what's going because on here? Abraham's nice. <laughs> Jesuit we'll was close to him. unleashing impotent and potent rage. Ask for five five hundred. I probably asked for five hundred. This sounds Ooh. exciting. I'll do it. Ask for a few tickets and hotel expenses paid for, so I can go to PMC. Oh my God! Okay. We'll get to PMC in a Ooh, little bit. PMC got some stuff to talk <laughs> um, about. Marie says, "Don't make me." Uh, and then uh, it's gaming time. Says, "I feel like James Napier won't be in the crossover because he said he hated being a Power First off, we've already discussed that uh, James <laughs> Napier is not coming back. Yeah. Nobody from the Dino Thunder cast is making the way back it's only dino charge and austin st john but right. i mean honestly how much more do you need no i mean dude i'm happy with it i'm happy yeah, with it's it fine. It's, fine. it's gonna be like a, a big thing when it does happen yep. it's gonna be where they're putting most of the show's budget into for that season and that's what i'm looking forward to uh the blur says still not gonna read any more pages from the black book no Oh no! no. Oh, not no, for no. a while, honestly. No, we're, no. We're, we're we're like kind of like dangling the little yep. tree in front of you guys, and you guys got a while, man. Yeah, I mean, wow. hey, we just came back to the new season of uh, Beast Beast Morphers right now, you know. So now that that season's just coming back yeah. right now, as it is, let's uh, have let's you take a few moments. Have you uh, checked out the last two episodes that came? <laughs> No, I haven't either. I was holding back. I, I haven't I either. I wanted to wait for like three episodes, which means today. So I was like, maybe later. Maybe, uh, maybe actually is tomorrow. It, wait, is it? I'll is watch. it? Is it legal for us to watch it? I mean, once it's on the air, it's on the air, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fine. It's not our fault that Nickelodeon doesn't know how to time out their time out their uh, hiatuses, right? Yeah, so, exactly. You know. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, so uh, it'd be interesting to see what they have at that panel. Hopefully. We get a chance to get in there or have someone record it for I us. I think so. We, shall, we will have someone yeah. out there. To, yeah, we'll, it gets, dude, to honestly, fun. if you guys don't have never been to San Diego Comic Con, it is crazy. It is, uh, uh, you know, it's it's really crazy. It's it's not as bad as uh, AX when it comes to the lines, mm -hmm. but it has just as many people, and that's what we'll say. Yeah, because AX is small. Yep. Um, Br Brent Darby hit us with a super chat. He says, "Cosmic protector status." Yes. Uh, 
We are prepping to do a little uh, voiceover work uh, mm-hmm. with Daniel Very over true. here. Very true. I'll be uh, recording so, actually, I think, next week. Yeah, I'll so within within some. the next week, we should have something for you. We, um, did, a, so, we did some table reads, yeah. uh, and that was really great. We'll have some footage uh, ready uh, might, for you, might you do, guys. You might do another out. table read tomorrow, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. We may actually do one either. Yeah. It's going to be tomorrow or Tuesday. Ooh, so We're maybe for all of the uh, the Patreon, or what do you call it? The, pa- the patrons? Or the patrons? Know. Uh, we will probably give you some behind the behind the scenes footage. Oh yeah, of definitely. like maybe the table we read a little bit. We can't give away too much of the story. No, but no. yeah. So the, but we'll give you, you know, something. We'll you guys you something. are gonna we're gonna kind of cut cut together a uh, a Patreon trailer too. Yeah. So you guys will be able to see some stuff. And trust me, it's going to be amazing. It's gonna the be cool. The tiers we have for the Patreon are amazing as yeah, well. So if you guys haven't had the time to do so, go ahead and head over to our Patreon and make. Make sure you become a patron as soon as possible yep. because every bit of support that you guys do, we will make sure then, to give back to you. And the top patrons or the patrons that also have characters made of them, is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a tier that goes yeah. that high. Oh, man. So, yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of things. Of course, as you know, with Patreon, we'll kind of switch it up and change it up every month. But you'll definitely be able to take advantage of a lot of it. Yeah. We appreciate you guys that we already have on there. And as it continues to grow, we'll still definitely show our appreciation yeah. to you guys. Blackwing says, where does NYCC fit on your <coughs> Top ten schedule. Uh, over the past two years now, we've yeah. we've gone to New York Comic Con, so I'm anticipating that we go back. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah. Um, New York is is fun. It's just kind of stressful. Um, just it the is. city. It's because the city is so far away from the airport and it, it, getting down there, and uh, it's it's a lot of work. It's well, a lot. that and then sometimes the activations and the things that they have you cover versus you're like, okay, hey, you're right here. You're able to talk to all these people right here, and then they're like, now um, after that's all done, you're like, let me have some fun. Let me go out yeah. and I'll go to a game. I'll go to this. I'll go to that. Yeah. And you're just trying to rip and run around the city just to live. And it's like, yo, it gets <laughs> tough after a bit, man. If we do go back to New York, though, those New York Knicks tickets are going to be super cheap because oh, the yeah, Knicks man. suck right now. God it's right now. Damn. Right now. You tell me when the Knicks haven't sucked. No. The thing about being a New Yorker is that you're just like, yeah, support the Knicks. You know you're never going to oh, win. Oh, my God. But you just support them. And you're just like, I learned to love orange and blue. Come on. So <laughs> I, 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 I've been New York twice. Uh-huh. How far is Brooklyn from Manhattan? Oh, Brooklyn's far from Manhattan. That's a oh, track. Oh, it is? Oh, that's a little damn. bit of a track, man. Because if that's the case, I might want to go to a Brooklyn uh, Nets like, game yeah. instead. Well, I mean, you just go a little bit farther further south, uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's towards the bottom. It's towards the bottom of where you oh, count yeah. the boroughs. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, but I might, I might, have, I might have over to the, was it the Barclay Center or something? Oh, yeah. Check out the, the, new, the new Nets. But that's basketball talk. <laughs> Let us get back into this. So, uh, yeah, we got the... We got the San Diego Comic Con panel. Unfortunately, the cast of uh, Beast Morphers won't be there. You know, I, th- I feel like I feel like some of them may make an appearance. Like yeah. maybe not, maybe not on a, an official on official status. But I feel like some of them might be there. I think so. I think yeah. they may just I show think. up. You, n- you never know. You never know. And then who else? We got um, the new toys. I'm gonna head. I'll probably live stream actually when I'm in, in the Hasbro line. Oh yeah. Like, I'm in the Hasbro line. I'm about to buy the new toy. You know. But speaking of toys, uh, oh. we have. Uh, some pictures of the new wave of the Hasbro toys, the children, the children's toys, or mm-hmm. the new Megazords. What's cool about the new Megazords is that they are all um, sold separately. Um, these are the play school ones, are they? No, no, no. These oh, okay. are the, these are the real ones. Okay. These are the like I don't know, fifty or sixty dollar ones. Yeah. But uh, all of them are have three modes, three separate modes. And then you can buy, if you collect all five of them or three of them, mm-hmm. you can create the Megazord. So that's cool. Um, no, I mean, that, that's exactly what you want. Yeah, exa- that's exactly what you want. I mean, honestly, with do you remember when the movie came out and they kind of did this kind of format with the movie toys where you couldn't just buy the whole Megazord. You had to buy each and every separate uh, yeah. Kind of yeah. It's and kind of, I, kind I of no the same thing. It. Kind of the same thing, but the only thing I didn't enjoy about the uh movie Megazord was that um the the toys instead of transforming and shifting and stuff, yeah. it was pop off and put somewhere else. Like, oh. Yeah, so like yeah, I didn't really like it. I didn't I didn't uh, like how they did that. These see, ones I, I want to know how they do form though. Like you Yeah, know, exactly. They, you want to know you know want to know where every piece <coughs> goes and, But and, with this, thank God, once again, it's Hasbro. Yep. The Hasbro is mastered 
a transformer. Yep. You know? So with that being the case, when it came to them knowing how to go ahead and put a Power Ranger toy together, mm -hmm. they had to have ideas. They had to be brimming just with like, all right, all right. So when we do this, I'm thinking that we should have, uh, you know, this kind of move here and this way and yeah, this blah, yeah. blah, blah. And it still looks functional. And yet, each one has three modes? Three modes. Dude. When does that happen with Power Ranger toys? Uh, like each Zord has three modes. I rem honestly, I remember when Transformers had three or, or triple changers. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And triple changers were amazing. They were huge. That was a big They're thing. They're amazing. Like I mean, like uh, just from robot to whatever vehicle, that's cool. That's that's yeah. cool on its own. But having another oh, mode, that is cool. Oh, honestly. Yeah. yeah, and looking at what they've already put out before, like we, you know, we just saw the mask with the swords and everything like yeah. that. It's just Hasbro's really taking its time when it comes to the toys. I mean, the lightning figures, and now we get to the Zords, and I'm still just floored with the three mode part, where it's like, okay, you have this one, it's like it's a vehicle. The other one, where it's like uh, kind of like a whatever the next thing may be, like a, a car or a helicopter, or blah blah like that. And then the other one, where it's actually like it's battleized kind of robot form yeah so then yeah. you have that and then on top of that you set it up and you can connect it to become part of this megazord mm -hmm. and it's like yo that's the dopest thing ever here's one toy kid that now is three toys enjoy yeah yeah it's it's gonna be honestly it's gonna be fun to to collect them and go like i know joe is um he's excited about going around and and uh <laughs> like actually finding it because he's still trying to look for zed yeah, he's trying to look for Zed, but people have told him where to go. So, Wait, I don't do you, know. I think uh, Toku Kid told him recently, like, oh, yeah, go here or go there. You'll just find it. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But he hasn't gone. So, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, then, you know. I, I went to Target. I went to Target. I didn't see Zed. It was only, it was actually the other three, and then that's it. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I'm excited for the next line. Um, I want to try to sneak away for the panel because I feel like the energy in there is going to be crazy. Yeah, I think the energy there is gonna be crazy. People are waiting for something, man. Yeah, we're, we're, we're biting at the we're biting at the bit, chomping yeah. at the bit, yeah. waiting for something. Yeah. So for any level of big news and Hasbro, you guys have not let me down mm -hmm. with the way you guys are kind of dispensing information, yep. the way the toys are coming out, uh, the way you're actually doing well with this show right now at the moment. You're holding back a few things, then you're giving out a lot. So I really. Do not expect to be disappointed with the panel at SDCC. And this Power Hour, I bet it's going to be huge. Yeah, it's going to be You guys cool. probably have stuff that you're not telling us, like the Beast Morphers. I, it would be amazing if they were like, you know, well, we just, you know, the Beast Morpher cast is going to be here. Then all of a sudden, yep. Beast Morpher cast is there. That would be huge. I think It I, would be a smart thing to do. Just say it. Uh, <laughs> here's a little thing. So I heard uh -huh. that... The original Red Ranger, Austin St. John, is actually going to be at San Diego Comic-Con. No. Now, if you put two things together. Okay. You have San Diego Comic-Con, a Power Rangers, a Hasbro-sponsored or Hasbro Power Rangers uh, panel. It's mm -hmm. an hour panel. And, um, and you have Austin St. John at San Diego Comic-Con. Right. Based on all that. And all the information that we have given to you, uh, the Power Ranger fans, uh, the Power Ranger, uh, the Ranger Nation, I would deduce, was it dedu is it deduce, or I would conclude okay. that, uh, yes, we may see something from the crossover. Really? Yes, yes. I think so. I mean, why have them there okay. and not use them for the, for the panel? All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. We have. Hold on. We have two super chats. Two. Two. One from Ben Darby, another one from uh, Derek Harvey. Uh, okay. Let's go, Der uh, Bryn Darby's, which he said. Um, they are still better. Uh, they are still Beetle and Stag Beetle named Zords. Yes, I don't, because I don't know, you, you know, the like they changed one? one of them to Mantis or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to watch and see what they do with uh, what the Zords are, mm -hmm. but they do look like beetles, so. Um, and, yeah. and that makes sense, and I would still love to see, but we have to wait and see what they're doing as far yep. as how they're going to push that out, because, you know, when it comes to toys, they go ahead and do it, they shoot their promo picks, and no promo picks always leak. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the big problem when it comes to the toys. And I think Hasbro has figured that out. So they're like, yeah, we're not even going to put it together and do a promo pick because that will get out before anything else. Yep. And it probably wouldn't have gotten out before the show. Yeah, nice. So 
I mean, that, that'd, be, that'd be a thing. That'd yeah. be a thing. Uh, Derek Hervey says, hey, guys, hope you are all doing well. Uh, blessings. We ho- we're, we're doing well. Hey, we're, we're doing, doing good. good. We're doing you good. Know, uh, the healthy, earth, earthquakes great. isn't yeah, too bad. Earthquakes aren't killing yeah. us yet. Also, um, you so. guys, with the Super Chat, we also want to remind you that we also have the Cosmic Protectors uh, Patreon. Um, That's right. Uh, we have, I think, three people that are uh, currently patrons for our Patreon. Mr. Josh, could you uh, place the link in the chat, maybe? Uh, we're going to send you a link to the chat and uh, to the uh, Patreon, and you guys have an opportunity to uh, join the Cosmic Protectors and maybe even be in one of the issues as, yes. a, as a character. Wouldn't that be really cool? I mean, imagine you're like... For us, we because since we're making it, we already know that we're gonna be in, in, oh, in, yeah, in the yeah, comic. Yeah. But imagine as a huge Power Ranger fan having an opportunity to uh, have yourself immortalized in some form of Super Sentai uh, Ranger uh, content. Oh man, that would be huge. Yeah, in some form of that, and then just you know, can just, that's crazy. That's just well for me, honestly. Be no joke. Even though I'm part of it, and yeah, we meet Rangers, we talk to them, blah blah. This is big for me. It's kind of like, yo, I'm going to, and I'll say Thank you, Josh. I'm going to be immortalized, no joke, in this kind of project where I'm going to actually be side by side with Rangers. I'm going to You're get gonna to be, a, be ranger, man. a ranger. And it's like, you know, I feel, I get how, um, I get how Andre, Black Nerd, felt. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm a ranger now. You know, I'm really a ranger now, and it's that's big for me in that way, where it's like fan of a fan, and so you guys getting that opportunity, come on, it's, honest, it's gonna it's yeah. gotta blow your mind. Honestly, man, I think maybe for Power Morphicon 2020, we'll talk about it a little bit later. Yeah, but maybe we should suit up. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it'd be kind of cool. Ooh. Even even if we don't even if we don't have the whole squad, I mean. The colors, man. Orange and purple is going to be... But that actually isn't that, bad, that, man. That's not bad, okay, right? Okay, okay, you know, we, okay. We'll, we'll look into it. We'll right, look into it. We'll right. find, find someone that could, you know, you know. Oh, it up. man. Damn. Okay, I'd be down. So, yes, the Patreon link is in the in the chat. We'll put also put in the description after this video ends. And you guys will have the opportunity to uh, go behind the scenes and see some of the things that goes into building something mm-hmm. like this. This is actually a project that Joe and you have been working on for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Near and dear fact, we have, we have uh, Chinchester stopped teasing. I'm not teasing. I'm <laughs> not just teasing. Pr- We're letting you guys know. We're constantly Dude, promoting, guys, man. Guys, the Patreon is there, so yeah. it's not even a tease. Yeah. You can go and click on that link, follow through, see what's going on yeah, with exactly. the Patreon, and see how you get to be part honestly, of this. And honestly, like, I feel like we got to ask Joe, but I think for the Patreons, we can release a few uh, concept art pictures. Pictures, you know. Uh, it, uh, yeah. It, yeah, it, it, yeah. That's definitely something. That we're Is that something do. that you have it's on? on it's on the horizon. Ooh. Yeah. So yes, you get to see some of the some some things that may or may st- uh, still be in the final product, mm-hmm. but. There's been a lot. There has been uh, there's been a lot of changes. There's been a lot of different art styles that have been, but there it's it's so much fun. Honestly, it's gonna be uh, interesting to do the voice voice acting work stuff. I, I was wait. not there for the original table read. How was that? Dude, okay, the table read flowed well. I thought we were gonna have issues like wait, hold on, when do we blah blah? No, people found their footing. Um, we have some original characters that are in it that trust me. When you hear the characters read, you are going to be like, this is a character that should definitely be on Power Rangers. Yeah. I'll say this right now. We have a breakout. We have a breakout star. I'm not joking. I, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not joking. We have a breakout star in there, and you guys are going to be like, well, this person deserves voiceover work for Power Rangers. Yes. That's how good this Ooh, person was. Uh, we got a super <laughs> chat from Brent Darby. He says, Joe says, Patreon rewards coming soon. They are coming they soon. They are. They are. They are coming very, That's very, very soon. Um, mean Bean XD, what is Cosmic Protectors? Uh, Cosmic Protectors is a, that hashtag show production. It's mm-hmm. a motion comic. It's a, it, yeah. well, I wouldn't say it's that hashtag show production. It's actually separate. It's from actually separate? Show. Yeah. Okay. Who 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 would say? Uh, it's a fan. It's a fan made project. Okay, it's a fan made project. It's a fan made project. Right it's now. adapting a um, a Super Sentai. That's right. And 
and that the, the Rangers from the Super Sentai are many of many familiar faces from the show. Definitely. Yes. So we're gonna and we're doing it in the continuity. Oh, Joe's in, in the, the chat. He says they will be uh, the so the Patreon rewards will be up this week. Um, Perfect. So it, honestly, it's gonna be exciting. Dude, so I mean, trust me, it's a fan-made project, and it's based within the continuity of uh, Power Rangers, mm -hmm. uh, and it's Illuminati first, Productions. Yeah, that's right. It's a Luminarity production, okay. and uh, it surfaces or kind of circles around um, first with the Sentai team from Q Ranger. And it starts mm -hmm. to expand from there. And trust me, the universe of Power Rangers is large. You'll have special, not, not just cameos, there will be moments, scenes, and entire issues, sometimes dedicated, with other past Rangers. And who will be voicing these Rangers? Yeah. But the actual Rangers themselves. I'm excited. So I'm that's excited. what makes it really big. There will be a lot of Rangers that come back and reprise yeah. their roles. So it's going to be a huge thing. It's going to be, it, it's a motion comic. It's an audio drama. It's bringing the best of these worlds together. I'm excited. So you guys will love it in every way. So check out that Patreon. Yep. Become part of it. Trust me. You're becoming part of something that's going to be big. It's going to be historic and you're getting in on the ground level it is going to be fun yeah. um so <laughs> in the spirit of morphin monday we have a morphin monday coming up on monday and like last week's we have another panel thank you thank you to matthew thompson for recording this yeah. it was actually i watched this panel and i thought it's you know kind of cool so i gave you a little bit of a teaser um it is they're actually so it's the power rangers playing the newlywed game which is smart yeah why not? Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a little preview of it, and you guys could check that out on Monday. This is Austin St. John, and you are watching that hashtag show. You better pay attention. Mentor 
members of the Power Rangers Wild Force yeah. season, Andrew McCrouch. <laughs> and from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Power Rangers Zeo, and Power Rangers Turbo, and what Power Rangers meant to steal, even. Look at all this. Yeah. And <laughs> of this very convention. The key of Maurice, you gotta say her name a very specific way. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You gotta go, the key of Maurice! to add five and Andre and I will ask questions of these rangers that none of us have come up with yet. And then they are going to try to answer for each other and see what happens from that. Sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. Sound pretty cool, we'll get it going. And then uh, just a little bit of cleaning house uh, for this one. We are not going to clear the room after this panel. Whoa, that looks like a lot of fun. I kind of wish I was at Ranger Stop. I, I, I kind of wish we had that happen last year at uh, Power Morphicon. Yeah. But it's okay because 2020 is coming up. Speaking of Power Morphicon, it's Anime Expo right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but at Anime Expo. Scott is at Anime Expo. Mm -hmm. And he made a big, a big announcement. We'll play it. Huge. We won't cut our audio, but we'll play the little... On an anime expo this weekend, we got special guest Dwayne Cameron from Power Rangers Overdrive, and we're going to announce the date for the next Power Morphicon. You ready? Ready. Whoa. We have September 4th through 6th, Labor Day weekend, 2020. Power Morphicon's going back to Pasadena for 2020, Labor Day weekend, September. Dwayne, are you going to be there? I'm going to be there. See you there. And we'll be there too. Yep, <laughs> September fourth through the sixth. Man, no longer now, in August. Yeah, now, now that's interesting. One, why the change to September? But it's like, hey, Labor Day weekend. Why the change? Okay, what else? Um, two, why moving back to Pasadena? Now, oh, both no. answers are pretty simple. Oh, okay. I would think. Like, okay, let, let, let's go on the the Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your answer to that? It's Labor Day weekend. It's a holiday. During that time, it's going to be great because people are going to be able to already be vacationing or mm -hmm. doing things of that nature. Hey, why not have something to do during that time? Labor Day isn't a day or a time where you have to usually spend with family. Yes. Fourth of July, you definitely do. You know, and uh, all the other times, yeah, people like to. But putting it right there on Labor Day weekend, right after you're coming back from... Um, your summer vacation, you still want something to kind of look forward to, something yeah. to still be energized about because now everybody's going back to school. You're back in that rut from work. Uh, summer is over, and I'm just dying inside. Well, I got something just a little bit more to kind of push you through the remainder of this year. Yeah. And here it is on Labor Day. Get to enjoy something that you love. I think Labor Day weekend isn't, bad, isn't a bad weekend. Mm -hmm. Only thing is... Uh, prices go up on tickets for you know air travel for anybody that isn't in California. Oh, yes. geez, you're right, you're right. Yes, hotel um, prices go up. Uh, Pasadena, Pasadena prices. Pasadena is an expensive city. It really not is. as expensive as Anaheim. I was just gonna say not as expensive as right? but still expensive. Mm -hmm. So that goes into why going back to Pasadena. Did you did you have fun at uh, in Anaheim? I loved it. Yeah. I loved Anaheim, but Anaheim was large. It was and large. You feel that it sometimes, and I'm going to be honest, 
I felt it may have been too large for Power Morphin. Maybe. Because there felt like there were dead spots in areas there where it's like, in Pasadena, yeah, you're going to be packed in, but every inch of that place will be utilized. No, but let me, let me uh, preface this, too. We weren't technically in the Anaheim Convention Center. We were... But we, oh, yeah, but we yeah. weren't, we weren't actually in the place where they hold WonderCon or they hold D twenty three or or uh, all the other big ones. So it wasn't technically the biggest part of, of Anaheim Convention, convention Center. Center. True. So, do you feel that the convention bit off a little too much than they could chew? In some ways, yes. I yes. mean, uh, we knew that was a bit of an issue when it came to the figures mm -hmm. um, and some of the things that we wanted to make sure we got to people or that they wanted to make sure they got people to or be interested in. Um, I think with a smaller area still, they'll be able to pack in as much as possible. Um, but like you said, Pasadena is an expensive city um, and air travel, that will be something that's going to be tough for people. Um, but I am welcoming... It being back in Pasadena, um, because namely I won't have to get a hotel this time. <laughs> I can just travel right out from home and come to Pasadena. It's gonna be okay for me. We um, have a before you keep going. We yeah. have a super chat. I just don't want it to go. No away. problem. Uh, from the blur, he says, "How much in general do you think a fan needs for PMC?" Ooh, you know what? Actually, we do need to make a. Like, I think mm. like leading up to Power Morphcon, yeah. we need to make a a video like a, a prep video. As far as I've seen people make prep videos, yeah. but it, theirs are very generalized. That's like, very true. generalized. You I think go as specific as possible. As specific as possible, and like giving you the details as far as. The, you know, being realistic. There's a lot of a lot of people that put out like you know survival tips and everything. It's like ah, oh, those are just general things that you should know. Right. Oh yeah, bring water, bring food. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, given. you should know what your body needs. Yeah. We should not have to tell you. You go into convention, bring water. Well, you shouldn't have to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> but the things that you do want to know is okay. Where's the best place where I should go ahead exactly. and get a, get a hotel? Uh, um, another big thing is parking. Parking, mm -hmm. parking is a huge thing. Or uh, yeah, definitely with hotels. If you can, the best hotel for Pasadena would be the Sheraton. Ooh, the point. Sheraton is literally right there. That's right. It and is. it's in Old Town. Now, this is the one one great thing about Pasadena. Yeah. Since it's going to be in Old Town right over there in Colorado, everything is in walking distance that you want to go to. You want to go to Barney's Beanery. You want to go to um, all these other, like, you can Barney's go to... Barney's Beanery. You can go to big-time um, restaurants if you want to be like, oh, I want to splurge. Or if I just want something that doesn't cost too much, but I still want something that's good as far as food and everything. Mm -hmm. there. It's mm -hmm. right there in Colorado. Colorado, and that's one thing that I do love. Yeah. But yeah, we need to have a breakdown going specifically on, okay, if you're doing it on a budget of this much, if you're doing it on a budget of this much, or yeah. if you don't have a budget and you're just going to ball out like a baller, you know, what could work for you too? I think we can go over it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how much. So let's say two, it's three days, maybe, three-day weekend. Yeah. I would say that you'd have to account for... Uh, I would say five hundred dollars for a decent hotel for the whole weekend. For the whole weekend, yeah, that could be useful. Okay, so Josh says, if I'm still living in Pasadena, I'll rent out my garage for seventy five dollars a night per person, uh, four night minimum. Four night minimum. Oh my god! Wow. Josh. Access to the bathroom, kitchen, and anything else. No. Oh, no, oh no, access. no access. What? Come no. on, man. No one's going to be No bathroom? Thing. You asshole. No. You, He's like, I've got you a you bucket. Bon <laughs> you monster. Okay, so yeah, let's say 500. No, a porta potty, man. About 500 for a good hotel. And then on top of that, mm, maybe another 500 for. Uh, if, if, okay, say, so it's different for a lot of people. So there are uh -huh. people that like autographs and photos and other things. So I, I, would, I would put on another 500 for that. If you um, got it, yeah. Yeah. And then plane tickets, easy. I mean, uh, depending yo, on where you're coming depends from. Depends where you're coming from. That, uh, that part we can't even try to include on it. We're just trying to, once you get here, this is what we've got I for would you. say that if you're coming from out of town, I would say that you are going to throw down at least two grand. For the whole? For, for, for the premium experience. Okay. You could probably okay. do it. You could probably do it cheaper, uh, rooming with a lot of people. And, you know, uh, so... Yeah. 
that all just becomes on your comfort level, and we have set this up for you guys uh, for last Power Morph Con, THS Hashtaggers. You guys can coordinate and work together. So we got a good year for you guys to prep for that. Um, it's yeah. definitely going to be different. Oh, yeah. We're not, we're not going to do what we did last year, so... No, um, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not we're doing not. what we did uh, the year before yeah, last. Yeah, so. no, we're not. Mm-mm. But, hey, Josh, since it is in Pasadena, could, is the, could the return of a certain Megazord come back? I don't know. Potentially. Potentially. I mean, it's an it's it's an mm. easier it's an easier move. But, mm. um, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking under two grand, you could a premiere a trip to Power Morph Con. So you have a year. To, to come up with that. I don't oh, know. Oh, definitely. You have a year to come up with that. Um, honestly, the photos, and there's a bunch of rangers that are down to just talk to you, and you don't necessarily have to buy anything. That's well, true. I mean, but you, I mean, it'd be nice for you because they are t- spending time. Honestly, you know, I would know. say if you can, support the ranger. Yeah. Um, if you like the ranger, support the ranger. Yeah. That's a great way to do it because, you know, they are taking their time out mm-hmm. to be here. They have the travel to get there, and some of them are traveling from far, far to get there. Other ones may not be traveling so far, but still the thing is it's yeah. their time, and it's their effort. Go ahead and show them that you appreciate what they've done. Yep. So by doing that, go ahead and, you know, buy an autograph, yeah. buy a picture. And two grand, that's that's me kind of like overshooting it a little bit. You mm-hmm. can definitely, there are shortcuts that you can take, uh, like I I said uh rooming with a bunch, bunch of people um you can cut down the the cost from like 500 to under 200 maybe yeah, yeah. For, for the for the three nights yeah um and yeah it if you plan out your day perfectly you can if you know which rangers you want to meet you could really cut it down especially since a lot of these other rangers do multiple cons throughout the year yeah man. um you you're gonna have a tons of opportunities to meet them i mean Nakia and Karen and and them they're they're at every con so I mean it's like so. Whatever. Speaking of Power Morphicon, what are you expecting? What's something that you okay? What's something that you definitely want to see? Big wish list uh-huh. versus what you definitely are expecting realistically. Realistically, I expect. So this is going to be my what is it? So I went to 2014, 2016 in 2018 so this is gonna be my fourth year Mm -hmm. and this is we're going back to to pasadena i am very comfortable in pasadena to the point where it's an easy drive for me yeah um getting hotels pretty easy um the place is just everything every it's easy to learn everything around there um i'm expecting it to be i'm I'm, I'm expecting for us to be more comfortable okay like i we were comfortable a little bit but it is a it's a long track to anaheim Mm -hmm. a long track to anaheim and it's a lot of work but yeah i'm expecting us to be more comfortable in our element because it is pasadena and i I feel like this is how scott feels as well it's his element this is his this is home turf for him this is like his staple center this is kobe in his staple center yeah he is going to be ready but first (laughs) as before i continue burn darby hit us with another soup another super chat glad to hear that your internet is still working at the hospital hopefully you are feeling better he says we need a vr experience in the future pmc uh pmc that would be cool that would be dope. That would be cool. And VR experience yeah. there, yeah. I'm expecting also Hasbro to have a bigger hand in it. Mm. Um, I think that is a thing. Um, what is this? Flash Flash says, I many Power Ranger series is a big wish list. That is, I think it's on a lot of people's big wish lists. Even, uh, we even got, um, not confirmation, but, you know, uh, validated in, 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 in our... In wish list on it, wish list, yeah. with, with Ryan saying that it just it makes sense. It makes sense, and it's it a medium sense. that could be done. Yes. But the problem is with animation studios. The thing is, if it's not if it's not received with a huge kind of welcome, and mm-hmm. like the first season does well, because usually anything that's animated, you get two seasons out of it. Yeah. And if you're lucky, you get a third, yeah. and then that's it. G- Disney uh, pretty much set that up. And that's how every other animation studio looks at it now, because Disney set that up. Yep. And it's like, man, you guys have ruined how everybody else can actually function. Definitely. I think, um, yeah, I mean, other than, I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you expect to now I want that's Hasbro there. I want okay. Hasbro to show up, yeah. and I want them to, I want them to show up, and I want them to show out. I want something just as big as how they had the Dragon Throne and everything like that. Yeah. I want them to do something in conjunction with Boom Studios. Again, I want 
my beast morpher rangers there yeah i know it's gonna be 2020 and by then i don't even know if the show is gonna be over by then you know, uh it's going to be season. going into their sec- uh the second season is going to be <laughs> like the second part of their second season and we are probably going to get an announcement for what the next team is going to be that's true that is that that's is true. that's well, a, by then will we have the crossover uh yeah the, uh the crossover would probably be have already passed okay. uh we got a super chat from drew he says what attractions are can't miss around pasadena oh are you talking about attractions pasadena's you know mainly for pasadena or for um yeah, or for the convention for pasadena hmm <laughs> There are things that happen at the Rose Josh, Bowl. I mean, what do what what are things to see? Uh, George's McFly's tree. What's that? Uh, the, the tree that George McFly fell out of. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! That's in Pasadena. That is in Pasadena. Yeah. That is oh, in Pasadena. Man. Yes. But there's the Halloween house. The Halloween house yeah. is uh, something that's there and it's year round. Yep. Um, uh, with Pasadena. a simp- with a simple Google search, Mister uh, uh, Drew, you could check out what's to see. I mean, it's not a lot, but you are. Very close to other L.A. places. Yeah, right? definitely, yeah. man. I mean, from there, you're up north. You can head right down to Hollywood. Exactly. It's right down the hill. Exactly. And then there's every and anything to do in Hollywood. So yeah, you like, yeah. Definitely. That. Listen, definitely, it does not compare to Anaheim and Disney. No, it doesn't. It does. Yeah, Universal's, Universal's about 10 miles away. Yeah, that's true. So it's... It, 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 I, I don't want to compare Pasadena to Anaheim. No. Uh, in the sense of, in sense of a person trying to throw a convention out of his own pocket, it makes sense for him to uh, go back to Pasadena. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I mean, honestly, it's home, like I said, it's home turf. He, he, knows, he knows who he's dealing with there. He knows mm-hmm. what to do. And, you know, um, as far as stuff that you, I am hoping to see a few things that we saw last year okay. that were, like, really great okay. at Power Morphicon. Like, just, so, honestly, some of the best things that I saw at Power Morphicon Last year, like there was this one booth where it was like an exact replica of the Megazord cockpit. I think that was that was a cool one. That was a that really was a cool that was a really I cool wonder, one. Was that? Yeah, Jeez, I yeah. That's was, that's one thing I would definitely want to see. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Um. Uh, another thing I want to see is like really, really like super dope ass T-shirts. Like what? I mean, I saw them at Paramorphicon. I think I saw them maybe. on this website called T Public, and I think okay. they may be having a sale. But they have some really cool Power Ranger T-shirts over there. So I mean, hopefully we get to see that at PMC 2020 again. I mean, I mean, I saw like at PMC uh, 2018. I saw this Once a Ranger one that kind of looked like the Justice League one. Oh There's yeah. There's that that my yeah. favorite T-shirt that I bought. Uh, it was a uh, Fast and Furious Turbo, and that was pretty cool. That one's a really good look yeah one. there I was also that, that mad max rpm one that was really cool i saw that shirt come out and um there is also that star wars that star wars in space one definitely there are definitely a bunch of really cool shirts out there so hopefully power morphicon 2020 can um uh, bring that back i don't know and then maybe even outside of the con maybe some events like some really cool uh, Power Ranger centric events that would be really awesome to yeah. kind of have something kind of have something to uh, enjoy right after the right after the the whole day of con maybe like 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 a dance or something they had a dance last year they did the dance they was did. like actually really fun and you had a bunch of rangers and uh, people come in that was really fun I hope they bring something like that back I, I don't know you know um, it'd but, be a nice you know, thing to see that was really cool um, yeah. <laughs> um, I I just think that it'd be really awesome to see because I mean that was probably my favorite things of uh, of uh, Power Morphicon last year. Well, I mean honestly, and yeah. if you're if you're gonna be at the con, and you're like, hey, I still wanted to have something to wear when I'm at the con. Just head on over to T Public and yeah, our store exactly. and buy the shirts there, so you can arrive mm. at Power Morphicon with those shirts. Because I think, you know, I'm just gonna say it. There will be new shirts oh, that, that will premiere at Power Morphicon. Also, the <laughs> remind me, there is something I do kind of want to see, like a certain panel, like a, maybe a panel called like I Told You So panel. That'd be really cool. That would be a that good would panel be to really have. awesome to have. <laughs> and honestly, we'll probably do giveaways. Oh, you know, we'll do we'll, giveaways we'll, we'll of that do, panel. We'll do Twitter giveaways of giving away your name, your name handle to you know highlight you know your 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 intelligence and everything. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> I think so, and I think fans would love to see I, it. I think because fans would love to see Some people need their comeuppance. Yeah. Some people need you to know, know that you know. hey, 
Maybe you were right, and yeah, you didn't tell me Maybe you so. were right, you know. So, I mean, there's there's a ton of things that we can see at Power Morphcon, honestly. Um, hopefully, some cool panels. Uh, hopefully, we have we. I mean, I, I, I there's a few panels I can think of off the top of my head that we can we can, you know, brainstorm and we can bring to the fans. But what do you guys want to see? I mean, honestly, I hit up THS hashtaggers. Uh, someone start a thread. What do you want to see at Power Morphcon? Uh, not uh, yeah, Power Morphcon 2020. You know, we'll we'll see some of your, su- your suggestions. Uh, Flash Flash says, "I'm afraid of Jetzer." Well, be afraid. What I'm very mean? scary. <laughs> I'm a scary. I'm not a scary person. Uh, actually, I'm really, really chill. I'm really chill today. You know, yeah, I'm really chill. I but see it, I see it. as far as Power Morphcon, it is way too early to say uh, what you know what we what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. But we are definitely going to make a presence as we do every Power Morphcon. Yeah, man. Every single Power Morphicon, because you know what, we love we love the Ranger fandom. We love all this. Power Morphicon is is like the Super Bowl for us. This is yeah. this, this is where this is where we thrive. This is where we just you know, honestly, the Power Morphicon is when I first met you. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Think man. So I think. You know, honestly, I think if for some reason there are Rangers that we know yeah. that unfortunately said they wouldn't be able to be at Power Morphicon, or maybe they were going to go but they weren't going to have a panel. Uh-huh. If we happen to have a booth. We yeah. should make our booth the spot where these rangers, and we'll have a schedule. We'll have a schedule of when they will be there are you, to do signings. Tana, are you suggesting that we could possibly have a con within a con? Like Inception or something? <laughs> Not a con within a con, but like we can have at our booth a spot or a moment where it's like, okay, these uh, these rangers that said they were like, yeah, I didn't know if I was going to come or not because, you know, I didn't have a booth or I didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. Hey, you know what? We have a booth. We'll make we're schedule we'll schedule times for you to sit here at our booth and be able to sign, p- sign pictures exactly. and blah, 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 yada, yada. And then, you know, you may have a schedule of only three hours. Then after that, you'll go. And then, hey, come on down. The other ranger will come and <laughs> The blur. And they'll do it and move on. Are there any Twitters that have grinded your gears this week? Oh, jeez. You guys haven't been using you guys that haven't, No. Let me, let me check. Give me a second. Let me check. Continue. Continue. Yeah, I, we haven't seen anything, but I would love to have that as a mm-hmm. moment where just have people show up and they'll be able to sit down and kind of like shifts if they want to sit down with us and be able to sign off some things, give some pictures out. Um, exactly. You guys will love that and you guys get that and you can go. You'll probably even be, buy a t-shirt, have them sign the t-shirt yeah. that correlates with their show. And then that would be dope too. You'll be able to come and take pictures. Probably in the power in, in the Megazord uh, cockpit exactly. with a particular ranger. We could also maybe you guys could take pictures with like I don't know, at the last at, at the last Power Morphicon I saw this like this really cool Green Ranger statue that you know some booth had. Maybe we can take a picture with that. I think yeah. I think, I think that thing's still around. I think that thing's think, still around. I think that maybe thing's can, still around. Maybe we can get that. Honestly, well, I don't I don't know why we don't just bring it in here. I don't I don't understand. That's a good point. Quite cool, you know. Um, what is another thing? What is another thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, back to the Twitter thing. No, I have not found anything yet, but I am being vigilant. I think that the word got out that uh, uh, the uh, Twitter vigilante is coming, and I think they're trying Did to like pull, back? pull they're cool. back a little bit because there is some hesitation as far as what they, what they believe to be true. Yep. So, you know, that it's fine. Up. It's fine. And, you know, probably leading up to uh, Power Morph Con, it'll ramp up a little bit more. But I'm excited. I do want to bring, I do want to continue that, 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 that segment. That'd be fun. <laughs> I think you should. People <laughs> need it. People <laughs> want it. They're <laughs> asking <laughs> for it. Uh, Bryn Darby hit us with a super chat. Thank you so much again, Bryn Darby. THS hosted panel with various guest rangers. Massive ranger wrap-up special. Honestly, Ooh. I'm thinking we do a two-hour Ranger wrap-up <laughs> live stream, totally freaking <coughs> live, special. <coughs> we're gonna have this is all spec. This is all like just off wish the top list of stuff, mind. man. I'm, I'm, you guys are gonna like hold it, hold it. You hold know, us, like, no, 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 no. Uh, this is this is something I think. Um, two-hour, a two-hour time slot panel, which serves also as a. Um, 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 a ranger, a ranger wrap up, which will be totally live. We'll have special guests coming from the floor, coming from the back room uh, from, that we bring Ooh. with us that aren't going to be at the con. Who knows? We'll bring some, maybe some actors. Some, we're gonna play some games. Maybe it might get a little messy. I don't. Know, I just. I feel like we can turn that panel room into like 
uh, like back like old school back in the day Nickelodeon game show type thing, you know? Oh, you know, geez. I don't know, man. I think like this, it's, it could be possibly the best panel at Power Morph Con. I don't know all the logistics and everything. They, they're just because it kind of just came to me. Just kinda, it, well, dude, you know, we already had the best party. Yeah. At Power Morpher Con, yes, ever. I think it'd be, so. It'd be, I'm thinking now the best panel. Yeah, is this the next step? I, I, yeah, I definitely. I think that uh, at least some of us, uh, like mainly Joe, mm-hmm. was. I think they were uh, overlooked for a certain panel that they had at the very last day. Um, there's definitely a bunch of people on this panel that, personally, my in my opinion, mm-hmm. had no business having a panel because I don't understand. <laughs> What you're doing up there, what your uh, significance is to the fandom <laughs> versus us who the night before threw you a freaking prom for free. Yep. And not only that, brought you one of the best booths at the con. And That's yet true. you totally iced one of us to be on your panel. Influential. Oh, I think it was like influential yeah, people, influential, yeah. influential influencers in the Ranger fandom. Uh, and it was like, wait, time out. Wait, time out. <laughs> you know what that's like? That is like having a panel of all the best like presidents or anything, and then like Obama sitting at home not doing anything. Honestly, you know, like honestly, he's like our FDR sitting at home not doing. Anything. <laughs> yeah, he's like. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, he, obvi- just, obviously he's I sitting mean, down. Yeah, well, I'm sad. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, historical it, jokes. <laughs> yeah, it that honestly it was so redundant oh. and so ridiculous. It that, didn't that make didn't any happen. sense. It didn't. It didn't have any. It had no. I had no idea what was going on. So I mean, it didn't make any sense. Like I understand. It really did. I, I understand why you and I weren't there. Yeah. I mean, but, we, okay. Fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, yeah, but you're sitting there looking like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I think wait. there's actually a picture too. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What did you do for the community? Cool. Oh, cool. I mean, we. we not, oh let's not get God. into it. But yes, we're gonna we're gonna, I, I feel like for me personally, I don't know for you guys, for me personally, I'm gonna take a lot of uh pride in in, in having in being or having or throwing the most entertaining panel ever thrown at a Power Morphicon. Yeah. Or at any con in general. And I, I mean I, for me, I have a whole year to uh, plan stuff out, build some stuff. You know, I oh, have, oh, oh. you know, we can make some booths, some li- some sets thing. I actually have uh, a friend who's pretty good at building things, and it's his birthday today, so maybe I'll link up with him. We could start doing some fun things. So yeah, I think, I think, I mean that that's that's what I want. I want to have the best, the best, most relevant, and the best, most relevant Power Ranger panel at a Power Marvel, at a Power Ranger convention. And yeah. have, like, not just, probably not just us, we'll have actual, actual Power Ranger influencers there. I mean, mm. like, people that actually done something for the community. Not just a bunch of nobodies that, you know, are in it for the clout. No, I'm talking about real, legit people, you know. <laughs> some real people that, you know, actually, you know, help move this franchise, this this uh this thing forward and yeah you know i yeah a panel i think a panel would be good i'm i mean we'd be be cool to throw a party maybe we hit up the beanery again you know maybe, maybe. Take, you know take it off site and have a little fun over there because I, I we, we have a pretty good uh relationship with the beanery oh definitely yeah. we do. so definitely maybe we do. uh what else i mean there's tons of things um the booth would be cool yeah like you said like you know signings at our booth there's so many things that we want to bring to you because we think that we could just amplify everything so much more. Definitely. So, so much more. I mean, I would love it. So it's like, hey, you know, we have the best booth. Yeah. We ha- we threw the best party. Yeah. We want the best panel. Yeah. Best panel. I think that's the only thing. And we had the best. We had the best merch. Yeah. Uh, I, so, I, 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 wait, is it safe did. to say that we had like? I, cool I think we did, unless it was like a ranger exclusive from a ranger, yeah, like yeah. their own line. Or yeah. Something so like that. so yeah. 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 I think we had like real pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, merch. So yeah, I mean, I think I'm excited. We have a year, almost more than a year, to prep and to enjoy and to savor. Man, I can't believe Power Morphicon's coming up again. It's crazy. It's, it's going to be huge, man. Oh, it's an entire <laughs> comic book realtor, an entire juice bar. That is a cool idea. So, but. Like, yo! Yo! Like an actual juice bar. Forget having a booth. 
We just have to make juice all day long. What is the logistics behind that, though? I mean, having it on the, the floor, floor. just get a bunch of blenders, and we all have, like, hash, we'll, we'll have the We'll have well, the, we'll the shirt. Well, we can, we can create a hashtag, like, hashtag <laughs> Ernie Juice. Hey, Daniel, we need another strawberry blast m- m- razzmatazz yeah, shit. Yeah, right, like that. And it's like, all right, <laughs> boom. We can yeah. look into that. Oh, yeah, and Junior could be Ernie. Yeah, Ernie's oh, juice bar. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. I think, I think. Well, he have to shave. I think having a year to learn how to juice, how to juice, not, not juice, but like yeah, make yeah, juice, but, but it make would juice? be, it's plenty of time. It's like, we could, I could start perfecting on my juices, maybe sneak in a few bottles of alcohol. And then, oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, probably yeah, not, yeah, you, know, you know, you know, you uh, <laughs> know. <laughs> but yeah, juice bar would pre- oh, be pretty dude. cool. I did not... Th- Mm. I like that idea, mm. and it may happen. It may it happen. It may happen. We just gotta oh figure God. out, like, especially out of con, it's hard. It's harder. I, it's harder to figure out like food things. You know? Yeah, it is. It um, is because you, know, you have to have, Sometimes you have to have a license to do it. If, if, I mean, if we have to do it outside, it's cool. We, we yeah, do it outside. Right? But yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. So yeah, I mean. Man. I think that's I think that's all we have for I think today. We had everything, man. Yeah, we had everything. I'm I'm excited. Actually, this next week. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna get to just relax a little bit before the storm comes. Just yeah, build gonna, before we go to war. Yeah, yeah, and like we bounce a few ideas off. What you got, Josh? I got an idea. Talk about it off air. Oh, what? Talk about it off air. You got an okay. idea? Oh. You got an idea? See, see, Power Morph Gun. They just they just announced that the date, the location, and now hashtags rolling. Hashtags rolling. Oh. What are we gonna bring? Oh. What do you guys want to see? Hit up THS hashtaggers. Uh, you know, suggest some things. Maybe we'll bounce some things off y'all. Also, be sure. Can you put that Patreon back in the link, in the chat room? Be sure to uh, you know check out the Patreon for Cosmic Protectors. Uh, Daniel will be recording some stuff. There's yeah, gonna be man. maybe sit down panel. We're gonna be releasing some pictures, so you guys can be like you could get. On the ground floor of something amazing, I mean, Power Ranger wise, honestly, like uh, Joe had said earlier, yeah, it's cool seeing your super chats. That's really cool. But put that, you know, you could put that, put that extra money or put that extra put money that support, that to the pa- to the Patreon yeah, exactly. and get involved and get involved and see the behind the scenes how something um, like something like this amazing. Uh, this is epic. Created. This is historical. This is great, especially if you're a Power Ranger fan. Yeah. It's something to be a part of on the ground floor yes. that is going to only get bigger. Yes. If it wasn't this good, Rangers wouldn't already already be like, yo, I'm supporting it. I'm getting behind it. I want to be part of it. Yeah. This has to be something large when even Rangers want to be yeah. part of it. So yeah. So just divert if you if you have. You could either divert your super chats toward there. You could do both, or you could do one or the other. I'm totally fine with it. But I mean you you're gonna be missing out on some exclusive content. We got Bryn Darby, Definitely. Bryn Darby, uh, John Gatewood's in there, and there's someone else in there that uh, another uh, Patreon, Definitely and not. they're gonna be getting the exclusive shit. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So yes, hit up Patreon. Also hit up the T Public Store where we have all these amazing shirts, and it's perfect. It's definitely perfect for you guys because we are going into the con season. You're gonna need a con shirt. Actually, I might be trying. I don't even. I'm not even afraid. I'm not even afraid to like broadcast so, yeah, there. Yeah. I'm gonna try to sneak into comic and to Anime Expo just because it's my friend's birthday. They're over there, but I don't have a con shirt, so I might have to hit up T Public. Maybe get some express shipping. I don't <laughs> know. They don't do that, but you know, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's that, and then we also have. Um, if you guys share this channel out, share this live stream out to all of your uh, Ranger family, your Ranger fandom, that'd be greatly appreciated because, like we all say, we love. When the when the when the uh, channel grows bigger and we get more hashtaggers coming in, enjoying yeah. the content, it's it's just fun for us. Yeah. Honestly, it's just fun for us. Um, Daniel, where can we find you on social media, buddy? Just look up Battlestar Galactica. That's <laughs> where you'll find me. The only place it isn't there is on Twitter, where it's hashtag that hashtag BSG. Yes, and you can find me on all social media at Jezzer Zeus. Um, Daniel will be back tomorrow. With, yeah, I'll with be the, back tomorrow with oh, um, uh, Doctor Who, as well as the Retro Ranger wrap-up. We who, are covering um, episode 7, 8, and 9 of um, Power Rangers uh, Turbo. Okay. So we're in a new season, guys, and trust me, it gets better every time we dive into this. I want you to be this. totally honest with me. How... 
How's it the second go around? Like what? It- <laughs> there are moments and things you didn't realize until now. We get older and you appreciate stuff, but then we get more, far more critical. And honestly, right now, Zio, we are on do you a think Zio, Zio is Zio is right now still because I'm only in like a third series kind of breakdown on Power Rangers. Zio so far is the best series Ooh. of Power Rangers, man. Right now, because I'm only going with Mighty Morphin, Zio, and Turbo. Yeah. Zio was possibly the tightest type of series yeah. for Power Rangers. Yeah. Storylines made sense. The introduction of things made sense. It was good. Yeah. Turbo already starts off with a clusterfuck. And <laughs> it's really tough. Um, we're not that happy with um, with with Blake's character, um, uh, Justin. <laughs> and I hate his character and, from the get-go, everyone man. Everyone knows we have a love-hate relationship with Cat. We're hating Justin even more. Mm. Then we're hating Cat, so that says a lot. Yeah. So uh, tune in uh, tomorrow at five gonna, p.m. Five p.m. Are you guys going to be doing the doing movie it. soon? Um, we 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 actually skipped it. We skipped, we skipped it? it and just went right into the yeah, yeah. season. And the reason we did it is so that we could see Elle's reaction to like being lost and then telling her what happened in the film uh-huh. because they tried to do it where they were like oh we're gonna sum up what happened in the film in a quick two minute montage mm-hmm. and we were like oh this is genius make sure Elle doesn't see the film and see if she gets lost trying to watch it yeah. sure enough she got lost because <laughs> it made no freaking sense so that's we're what we graduating to we're yeah yeah like we're graduating Tom, Tommy all of a sudden has like this the, he's, he's a race car driver he's a race car yeah, driver like, he's enthusiastic <laughs> for race cars where did that come from there's no <laughs> there was no nothing. build up whatsoever oh it's a it's a car racing thing I guess I gotta race a car it's a race car now yeah, yeah. here you go Justin I'm the new ranger wait why are you the, why are you a kid then you're an adult I don't understand any of this how did this work why why, why, Time why? Out. I can't remember. That. Was Rocky in the first few episodes or no? Uh, Rocky is uh, just to kind of like, yeah, I did break my back or whatever, you know, oh, like, really? that kind of thing. Oh, like he's like, man. no, it's cool not being a ranger. You know, I'm I'm, I'm running a school and blah blah. Yeah, Funny yeah. enough, later that comes to be real life, That's which awesome. is dope. Well, I mean, it's gonna you're gonna be rolling through. You're gonna be rolling through. You soon you'll be in space, and then you'll be in Lost Galaxy. Oh, it's gonna it, be so it much gets fun. better and so better and better. Uh, someone has said uh, asking about SNN and box office. We are actually on hiatus until after the con season. We're yeah. gonna be restructuring. A little bit and you know bring back more content so if you guys want to see it you know let the ladies know that you want them back uh, yeah. yeah just let them know um so yes thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for joining us on your saturday we hope you have a very uh fun fourth of july weekend it's not really fourth of july weekend because i was like on what two. yeah people are so calm now. yeah so it's fourth of july weekend hope you guys have fun um Bryn darby thank you for all the super chats hope very you're feeling better it. uh you guys be sure to hit up the patreon um be sure to like comment and subscribe to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture thank you guys so much